Welcome everybody to the 2010 Consumer Electronics Show. I am into tomorrow's Rob Almanza. We're over at the HyperMac booth where we found the only external battery for Apple MacBooks, iPods, and iPhones. We're talking to a lovely lady here. Jennifer, how you doing? Good. How are you guys today? Excellent. Now tell us about the HyperMac external batteries. What uh, products are compatible with it and how much time do you get out of these? Um, it's the only external battery for all of your MacBooks. It's good on any MacBook, the old ones, the new ones, the MacBook Airs, the MacBook Pros. So you have a 60 watt hour unit, a 100 watt hour unit, a 150 watt hour unit, and a 222 watt hour unit. Based on what computer you have and how much battery time your um, current computer is getting, you can determine how much extra time you can get with these devices. Typically speaking, you're looking um, anywhere from two to six times your current battery life with these products. And would you be able to take this with you, for example, in your car, on an airplane, for example, or if you're stuck at the airport? Um, it's good for all that. It's you know it's approved to go on the airlines because it's underneath uh, the 300 watt hour rule. So it's good to go with even our highest model. Um, you can bring it in the car. We have an adapter that's actually provided with the three top models. Um, it's a 92% efficient car adapter, which is much higher than most in the industry. It uses a low wattage, so if you spill anything on it, you don't have to worry about like electrocuting yourself, which should be people's concern. So. And we notice that there's four different sizes, so in terms of weight, how do they compare to each other? Um, we have a really teeny tiny one that's really great for um, backpacking and all the way up to the 222 um, watt hour unit, which is about five pounds. So it's just anywhere in between. Price-wise, for those that are interested in getting these right now? Um, the smallest one is $199 and it goes all the way up to $499. Excellent. And now you were also telling me that it has some USB ports, so what can you do with those? Um, it, anything that can be charged via USB can be charged on these units as well, either while you're charging your computer or just by itself. Say that you're going to be going um, to a remote location, a cabin, weekend away, getaway, and uh, you want to charge your iPhone and you want to charge your iPod all weekend, you can bring this up if you don't have um, any electricity up there. There's actually a gentleman we just talked to, that's what he does. So. Excellent. Now you do have some iPod and iPhone specific products, um, and they're pretty fashionable too. What can you tell us about that? Um, all the vast array of colors that you can usually get your um, iPods in, these all come in those colors. It's our smallest unit. It looks like um, kind of like a cigarette lighter. Uh, you take the cap off and it's the only one that has a built-in wire as well as a um, adapter. So what that's going to do is prevent you from knocking it and potentially either breaking the charger or breaking your device. Now that one's only good because of the adapter for your iPhone, iPod, um, and your iTouch products. Um, our second one is Micro. Um, that's about four iPhone charges. Uh, that one's going to be retailing for $49.99. Um, it's going to be available in March 2010, just like the, I, um, the HyperMac Micro. And then we have the HyperMac Mini. Um, that's our largest unit. That one you can charge your iPhone about eight times total. Um, that one's only good for USB items, just like the HyperMac um, Micro. Now, in terms of charging these devices, how long does it typically take for one full charge and then you'll be able to use it to power your devices? Um, the HyperMac um, Nano, it takes about four hours. The HyperMac um, Micro, it takes about five hours. And the HyperMac Mini takes about seven hours to fully charge. And now, these are, aren't specific for Apple products only, correct? Um, the HyperMac um, Mini and the HyperMac um, Micro are good for any USB products, but the HyperMac Nano is only good for your eye products. Jennifer, it was a pleasure talking to you here at the HyperMac booth. You guys keep up with the good stuff. Thank you, guys. See you guys next year. There you have it here at the 2010 Consumer Electronics Show. We're over at the HyperMac booth. Check them out at hypermac.com.